when I, when I grow up, I really want to play a whole lot of sports. I want to play professional basketball, professional football, professional soccer, and, the, or, and I think if I train hard enough, I'll be able to accomplish that, my dreams. And I just really like the sport, just do, playing and being really athletic. It's like being a superhero because you're so athletic and so talented. And the more I train, I think I can accomplish that. More than 36 million youth between the ages of 5 and 18 play organized sports in the United States. Of those millions who play, less than 7% will go on to play in college. And of those athletes, less than 3% will eventually play professionally. This documentary will follow one young hopeful as he seeks to find out what it really takes to become a professional athlete. Uh, we did uh, baseball, basketball in Louisiana. Those are my two main sports that I did. Uh, but when I, when I did come here to Houston, there was a lot more opportunity. Um, there's, there's so many more youth sports around here. And so I got involved in baseball again and basketball as well. But I also got involved in other sports like football, hockey, other things like that. What was your favorite position when you played football? My favorite position when I played football was receiver. Right? I like catching the ball. I get my hands out there. Right, ready to go. And I love beating those guys off the line. <laughs> what about you? I agree, that's my favorite position. But on defense, deep, deep zone. Deep zone, so mm -hmm. like safety, yeah. cornerback, those are all good positions. Tackle's awesome, because hitting people sounds fun. <laughs> hitting people is fun, especially when you do it correctly, right? Yeah. <laughs> so when you're out there playing receiver, make sure that you get your hands way out there so that you can catch the ball, right? So it's not hitting you off the chest and bouncing out. That and you sense? need to exercise a lot. That's right, you gotta exercise a lot so you can be big and strong. I have pull up bars that I do that I do and I and I have big huge muscles now. That's good. And That's I good. have abs. <laughs> and you have abs. Good. From the ages of about fourteen, maybe twelve to about fourteen, all the way up till I was about twenty two. I really believed that I was gonna play hockey professionally. I've seen hundreds of people that I have seen that have potential to be great, whether it's people I've played with in other sports or that it's people that I've coached. Um, a lot of times, you know, it's, it's that drive. What do they want to do? Where are they, where are they wanting to go in their life? Um, do they want to be this or is it just something that somebody told them is that they needs to be their dream? You know, so I, I think there are lots of people that have that drive, it, but it's a day in, day out consistency you have to have. I mean, look at players like J.J. Watt. I mean, he never stops. He always is working. There's not, a, not one day where he stops, you know. So it, you have to have something has to drive you forward. So my biggest advice for you, bud, when you're playing sports is to make sure that you have good grades, make sure that you're, taking, you're being healthy, you're eating right, exercising. And then the last thing is that you're, you're practicing every day. You got to practice that sport in I some do. way every day, I whether do. it's a little bit or a lot every day, okay? Do something outside, make sure you're getting your exercise in for that day. I wouldn't say I have great grades. I need better grades. You need better grades? I have like C's and B's. Yeah. That's how you're gonna get smarter. But is that enough to be to be in to play in college? I think if you if you keep working at it and strive for A's but get C's and B's, I think you'll be okay. You keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Good. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm scared. Mostly my grades. That's more what I'm scared of. That's what you're scared you of. Got to play in college to be in the NFL. It's gonna be hard. You can do it though. Keep working. Maybe. In my own personal life, I am way more happy not being a professional athlete. I think they live uh, a tough life. I think, it, depending on what sport you play and and where you play that sport. Number one, if you had a family, you have to move that family with you wherever you go. You could get traded at any time. You might lose your job because you, you just run out of, you know, you're, there's somebody else who's better than you. I mean, it's a very uh, demanding thing and it's a job. It's a day in, day out job. Um, I, I think where I'm at right now, I wouldn't change anything. I love my family. I love the people I'm around. I love what I do. Um, but I think if I would could go back and be a professional player, I would try it for one year and I think that would be it. I just don't think that I would, I don't think I would love being on the road away from who I have around me now. I think I just love my, my life where it is right now.
Um, my dad started playing with Maisie when she was two. He put a ball on a string and said, watch this. And she was two and she would hit the ball. Just boom, 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 boom. Hours and hours and hours. And when she was three, he talked me into putting into tennis lessons. And that's where it began. I started when I knew that I really wanted to go pro and stuff. I started like getting more focused. Like every time I wanted to win a shot badly, I would just plan out ahead the point and I'd be like, okay, they're gonna hit it here. I have to hit it there and hit there and boom, boom, boom. That's how I knew I was gonna get them. And when I figured I could do that, like every point, I knew I could go pro with that special talent. I think with me, um, tennis, it's such a um, one-person sport, um, and it's very costly, and it's like um, kind of playing the lottery, if you will. You know, it's going to take a lot of money to win. It's going to take a lot of money to win <laughs> and be number one in the world. There's only one number one player, one female, one male, and it's a lot of work, and you have to be determined and driven and motivated, and it's just a lot of work. I think Maisie has a really good chance, but I think she, what she's going to get out of the voyage is going to make her a remarkable person, and that's what keeps me motivated. So even if she isn't number one, say she's 150, <laughs> she's still going to be an amazing person through this voyage. Um, but I think she has a good shot. I've never seen anybody with a heart that truly loves the sport and everything that it takes to get there. I think she's got a good shot. If you really like the sport and love it and you care for it, like if you would ever try to quit if it, you, and you can only last like two minutes, then you know it's the sport and you have to go for every shot. Because if you go for every shot and you love the sport and you can't quit, that's how you know you should go professional. I'm going to be the number one tennis player someday in the world. So I played professionally 84, 85, and then college was uh, probably 85 after, and after that. Probably more like 86. And well, in Europe, they, um, each town has its own team, and so your goal is to be able to play for that team. And then you can kind of move up from there, and they have like a, they start really young. Um, so like, it's kind of like the club of the towns, and then the towns, will play each other. So you try to like make the next level of the team. And so they have, so we just took the train and went to all these towns and played the t their little club teams in the towns. And so that's kind of how, how it worked then. So not all the clubs are the same. So it might be that your kid doesn't, isn't liking where they're at, you know, try a different club. You know, don't stick with one thing and then if that doesn't work, then it's over kind of a thing. So try different things and different clubs um, and don't give up, but be smart with uh, in research. What are the best camps? What are the best schools to go to um, if that's what you really want to do? Because the I mean, it's just like any other professional sport, you need to get noticed. And um, it's hard for people from college that are going to try out for the professional teams to even get noticed. Some of them don't even, the coaches don't even see them at the tryouts. So um, you need to be noticed while you're still in college, probably. Um, so be smart about where you're going to go and where you're going to play and the camps you go to and those, those kind of things. Um, kind of like the, the Dynamo team, the men's team have the junior team. And, uh, and go in that direction because they get a lot of their players from those, I guess, farm teams. I think I would have tried to pursue playing professional and I probably would have gone to a school that had a good team that the scouts are looking at because they're you know, always ranked pretty high. I would have focused my education more that way, but I probably in the end would have done the same thing. So. Um, I think from interviewing all these people, it kind of makes me feel, it kind of 
it did actually make me feel doubt a little bit more about me being a professional athlete and that I should maybe focus on a little bit more, I mean a little bit less than what I really want to do. Um, but I still think that I can be a professional athlete no matter what. So you, just because of that, I still think I can be a professional athlete. It did make me feel like that was a lot of work though for, because there was a young tennis player. She worked, she worked about six hours, six or eight hours every single day working on her tennis. But she was only 11, and that made me feel that that's a lot of work just for an 11 year old to be handling every single day. And I know that I would actually want some TV time and stuff like that. But I work, I feel like I work every single day though hard enough that I maybe may not be the best, but I think that I don't care. I just want to be a professional athlete. That's what my, I want my life to be.